Hi, I'm Dr. Michelle Lee, a board-certified ophthalmologist, and today I'm here to tell you five things that I would never do. The first thing that I would never do is eye rubbing, and I get it, it feels so good, but don't do it. The most obvious reason is that you risk giving yourself a scratch on your cornea, or even worse, an infection, and that can be really painful and vision-threatening. But did you also know that by constant eye rubbing, you can get a condition called keratoconus, and in this condition, the constant friction of eye rubbing actually results in your cornea looking more like a cone rather than a sphere. And if this becomes severe, you might even need to wear hard contacts or require a cornea transplant. And trust me, you don't want that. If you do have allergies or severe itching, you can try some over-the-counter antihistamine drops or go see your eye care provider for something a little bit stronger. The next thing that I would never do is sleep in my contact lenses. You decrease the amount of oxygen that gets into your eye. Your cornea, which already has a lot of small scratches due to friction of the contact lens rubbing against your eye, is already prone to infection. And then if you decrease the amount of oxygen and the amount of healing, uh, you are asking for a cornea ulcer or a cornea infection, which in the best case scenario is very painful. And in the worst case scenario can actually cause you to lose your eye completely. Speaking of contact lenses, the next thing I would never do is swim in contact lenses. And that even includes lake swimming, ocean swimming, hot tubs, steam rooms, you name it. Anything where you're dunking your face or head in the water is a no-go for me. Our tap water is full of bacteria, fungi, and parasites, including a parasite known as acanthamoeba. And acanthamoeba really likes this warm, wet environment like your eye. If you put tap water or have amoeba in your eye, this can result in a vision-threatening or vision devastating infection. I would also encourage you to not wash your contact lenses or wash your eye out with tap water. If you do feel like you need to wash your eye or your contact, consider getting some saline solution from the drugstore or using some preservative-free artificial tears, and I'll link some of my favorites down below. The next no-no is visine. So this is a tip that really surprises my friends and family because you can find visine everywhere. It's probably the most visible eye drop in any pharmacy or drugstore, but visine contains nefazoline, which is a vasoconstrictor. So this medication decreases blood flow to the structures of the eye, and after the initial effect of the medication wears off, you end up having rebound redness, where the eye might actually look worse. So then you put in another drop of visine, you vasoconstrict your eye, you decrease the amount of oxygen getting into your eye, and then you start this cycle of dependence and potentially destruction. So if you do have redness of the eye, I would encourage you to go see your eye care provider, or you know at least just start some artificial tears that are over the counter, and if you really need something for redness relief, there are other alternatives that you can consider, including one of my favorites, which is Lumify. And another thing that I would never do as an eye doctor is ignore sudden eye symptoms. If you have sudden loss of vision, sudden eye pain, flashing lights, floaters, curtains, anything that's sudden or acute, do not ignore it. Like most things in life, the earlier we can diagnose and treat, the better the outcomes. So I hope these tips were helpful. Please consider subscribing if you like my content. Hit the like button and comment down below.